And uh, oh, there he is. Hey. <laughs> I'm gonna film myself eating all your granola. What's up? <laughs> Today, I'm here with my friend, Payton. Hey guys. So Payton plays drums in the band Leland, and he runs Drum Sample Shop. You guys have probably seen on the channel before, and they just released some new stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, I just released a master pack. I'm about to release something as well, like in a couple days, so. Yeah. Yeah. So um, Payton is awesome. He also has an amazing drum kit with WFL3, and he brought it over, so long story short, I got the Neve 33609 stereo compressor, and we're gonna play around with it today and try it on a few things. I figured let's use his drums because they're beautiful and I wanna hear them in this room. The way that I have this thing set up now, it's just set up into my patch bay and I'm patched into it as a hardware insert, not to bore anyone who doesn't understand this, but I've been using it as a plugin. But today, I think we should actually take microphones and go into the compressor, mm. out of the compressor, into the computer. This is how I would use it. I would use it on overheads or I would use it on room mic. So let's do that. Let's do it. All right, so we're gonna set up his drums and then we'll get it going. Smash the like button. What did you say about my snare? I, I like your snare tone. Oh, okay. I got some good snare tone. <laughs> That kid looks really nice in here. Yeah, bro. What uh, finishes are you getting? Hey, bro. Hey, bro, what's up? Let's put the uh, compressor on the overheads first. Let's do it. Slam them. <laughs> We're using the LeWitt 440 Pures on overheads, which have no pads or polar pattern selectors on them. They're just loud and pretty. They look pretty too. They are pretty. Nice. Let's slam them. Slam them. I'm gonna record the whole kit with the overheads with the 33609 engaged. And Peyton's gonna lay down some sauce. Engaged. Engaged sauce. Engaged. <laughs> Thank you. 
Just eating some granola, you know? Andrew, when you find this video, you're on the phone. You're on the phone outside. We said it'd be done in like, you know, two minutes tops, but it's been like 15 minutes now. So I'm just gonna eat your granola. Sucks to suck. Sucks to suck, my dude. And, uh, oh, there he is. Hey. <laughs> I'm gonna film myself eating all your granola. What's up? <laughs> Some cold. Okay, so Peyton and I just recorded him playing uh, to a click. And Saw these, but I didn't play it on the click very well. I that's, played. <laughs> that's okay. We're not, this is just to hear what this compressor's like. Um, and I was getting levels through headphones, so it'll be interesting to hear it. Back. Okay, so we will do. Are we doing this? Yeah, I'll, you know what I'll do? I'll just. Gosh, what? How would I normally listen to this? I just solo everything. Wow. I mean, it sounds great. So I currently have nothing on the overheads. It's just a raw track. Let's solo the overheads. So these, um, the mics are pretty bright and the compression sounds great. I think it's like uh, somewhere between four and five dB compression with a super fast release at a three to one ratio mm. and um and a fast attack the, the the attack setting is fast or slow i have it set to fast um to kind of give it a little more energy since this is a tight room and then when we add in the rooms Okay, so to be fair, there's some sauce on the rooms. A little sauce. <laughs> We've got the the FabFilter Pro G gate, and then after the gate, I have the SPL Transient Designer, but the Transient Designer is sucking out all of the attack, and it is just exaggerating the sustain wildly, which makes for very fun sounds. Uh, so we will pop this into the from the overheads to the rooms, and Peyton is gonna be drumming right now. Okay, we did the room mics and now we're gonna listen. Oh. <laughs> that is so much better. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. Better. Well, so there's two things that happened there. We inserted the Neve, but I also switched the pre's to the Warm Audio 273. So now the room mics, which are the Biodynamic M160s out in my living room, mm. are going through the 273s and um, are pretty hot going into the 33609, compressing with a fast attack, fast release at about four to six dB of gain reduction, depending on how how much you mean it when you hit the drums. Yeah, yeah. Here they are soloed. And then with that, Starting Oh, that's...
amazing. Mm. Absolutely fantastic. And one thing that's fun about doing these is because I'm, it's a de dedicated process of reviewing a piece of gear. Yeah. Um, I'm trying things that maybe, maybe, just maybe, perhaps, I may have been too lazy to try otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> but now that I have taken the time to throw these on the input side of the room mics, I have now discovered that this must be how I record rooms. Hmm. Or at least this is a much a more immediately gratifying way of doing it. There's but a cat. Yeah, that's a cat. <laughs> the 33609, I think that I love it. I think it is wonderful, and I will always use it on mm. drums, most likely on the rooms instead of the overheads. Um, I do like having some of the dynamics of the overheads, and if I'm recording rooms, I want them to dance as they are here, which is beautifully. Mm. Uh, what do you think? Dude, I love it. You got to get one mm. and use it on the drum sample shot. There we go. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. If if you have one, if you've used one, what you think of them. If you have any secret presets or settings that you use on, uh, or that you like to use, or ways to use it. Smash the like button, of course, and go check out Drum Sample Shop and Leland. And what else are you going to play in? All kinds of things. A lot of uh, like home studio stuff. Um. So he's he's playing on a bunch of records. Uh, you can follow him. I'll put his links down in the description. Thank you for coming. Thank you. And Usually I me. play in time, but today was the law. <laughs> We're just screwing around. <laughs> if you want a very high end, high quality bus compressor, this is bus comp. I see. I said that in a weird way. <laughs> if you want a very nice high end <laughs> bus compressor, I can't recommend this more. It even has a limiter. I didn't even touch the limiter. Wow, um, you didn't even touch it. I didn't even touch it. I'm scared of it, honestly. I'll put a link to this down in the description if you wanna pick one up. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Hi. Bye. 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 Oh.